polarizing former Red Sox player to receive absurd amount of money. Where will he land this winter? Welcome Red Sox fans share and subscribe to the channel and activate the notification to receive the latest news from Boston Red Sox. Help US reach the 2,000 subscribers so that our channel arrives for more people I count on all of you. Alex Verdugo, a polarizing player who passed through the ranks of the Boston Red Sox, is set to receive a substantial amount of money, even after a challenging year. Verdugo found himself at the center of many discussions and criticisms, both for his on-field performance and off-field issues. The big question circulating around the league this winter is, where will Verdugo play in 2025? Verdugo's story with the Red Sox began with one of the most impactful trades in recent Major League Baseball history. Leading up to the 2020 season, the Boston Red Sox shocked their fans by trading then-superstar Mookie Betts to the Los Angeles Dodgers. Betts, one of the league's best players, was a critical piece for the Boston team, and his departure was an emotional blow to the fanbase. To make matters even more complex, the player who was sent in return, Alex Verdugo, ended up inheriting massive expectations, something that followed him throughout his tenure in Boston. The trade was immediately polarizing. Fans expected Verdugo, as part of the deal involving Betts, to bring a similar level of impact as the former MVP. However, this pressure was often seen as unfair, given that he was joining a new organization in a market with high expectations, and all while living in the shadow of one of MLB's biggest talents. Despite this, Verdugo managed to deliver solid performances during his four seasons in Boston. From 2020 to 2023, he maintained a .281-.338-.424 line, with 43 home runs and 206 RBIs, while playing a key role in the outfield defense. He stood out for his ability to make contact at the plate and his consistent defense, providing a solid foundation for the Red Sox lineup. However, despite his regular on-field performance, off-field issues began to affect his time in Boston. While there were no major public scandals, rumors about Verdugo's work ethic, attitude, and commitment to the team began to surface. These factors, along with the fact that he was approaching free agency at the end of the 2024 season, contributed to Boston's decision to explore a potential trade. In a move that few expected, the Boston Red Sox found an unlikely trade partner, the New York Yankees. The historic rivalry between the two franchises made this trade a rare and notable event. Verdugo was sent to New York in exchange for prospects and other pieces that would help Boston rebuild for the future. The transaction caused a stir, with many questioning whether the Yankees could maximize Verdugo's potential or if Boston had made the right move by parting ways with a player who might not have been in their long-term plans. Verdugo joined the Yankees hoping to revive his career, but his 2024 season was marked by struggles. He played in 142 games, registering a .236-.296-.359 offensive line, with 12 home runs and 58 RBIs. While his defense remained a strong point, his offensive struggles hurt his standing with the team, especially after the rise of Jason Dominguez, one of baseball's top prospects. Dominguez was called up to the major leagues and quickly began earning playing time in the outfield, further diminishing Verdugo's role on the team. Despite his below-average season, Alex Verdugo is still viewed as a valuable asset in the free agent market. The potential he demonstrated in Boston, combined with his relatively young age, makes him an attractive target for teams looking to strengthen their outfield. Market projections suggest that he could sign a six-year contract worth around $102 million. It's a significant sum for a player who didn't have a standout year but still carries the potential to be an important contributor for a competitive team. The Red Sox's decision to trade Verdugo may ultimately be seen as a long-term strategic move. The club avoided the need to commit to a hefty contract for a player who, while talented, didn't show enough consistency to justify such an investment. Furthermore, the trade opened up space in Boston's outfield for younger players with more growth potential. As the winter progresses, many teams will be keeping a close eye on the free agent market, and Verdugo will be on the radar for several of them. His market value, despite his drop in production in 2024, remains high due to his defensive skills and the possibility of regaining his offensive potential. Verdugo now finds himself at a critical point in his career, where his next team and contract could define his legacy in MLB. Hello, super subscribers. Thank you for the incredible support for our channel. Today, I'm asking for your help with donations to further improve our content. Your contribution will help us continue bringing quality and frequent videos. Any amount makes a difference. If you can help, click the donation link in the description. We have special rewards for donors. Thank you for all the support and see you in the next video. In the end, the trade involving Verdugo may have been beneficial for both the player and the Red Sox. Boston, for its part, will continue to reshape its roster and seek new pieces that can help them return to the top of the American League East. 
while Verdugo will have the opportunity to re-establish himself on a new team, free from the expectations that followed him since his arrival in New England. Wherever Alex Verdugo lands this winter, one thing is certain, he will continue to be an intriguing figure in Major League Baseball, and his journey is far from over. Fan of Red Sox, would you like Alex Verdugo to return to Boston? Leave your opinion in the comments and leave your like and share and subscribe to the channel and activate the notification to receive the latest news from Boston Red Sox. Help US reach the 2000 subscribers so that our channel arrives for more people I count on all of you.